In today's tutorial, I want to quickly show you how to export VDBs from EmberGen and import it inside Cinema 4D and render it. Open EmberGen. It's free with your Octane subscription. Once open, you can go to Presets here and open the one you want to export. Let's choose this one. A VDB allows you to export the volumetric data from EmberGen to another software. To do so, we can go to the Volume node here and drag this to create an export node. Go ahead and choose where you want your VDB to be exported. First frame, maybe we want 100. And the number of frames could be 64. We want to export the density, which is our smoke. There is no fuel here, so no need to export it. Same for the flames. Maybe velocity if we want to add motion blur. For the rest, I'll leave that way. Now just click on the export button here. Now let me show you how you can import the VDB inside Cinema 4D and render it with Octane. First we will need a VDB volume that you can find under Objects. Octane VDB Volume. Here on the VDB tab select the VDB that we just created with EmberGen all you have to do is to select the first frame of the sequence and click on Open. So here it starts on frame 0 and ends on 64. To see our smoke, go to the Medium tab, Volume Medium, and decrease the volume step length to see our smoke and bring more details to it. As you can see, the simulation is not oriented in the right direction. To rotate it, go here and hold down the left mouse button and choose object. Now you can rotate minus 90 degrees. Now let's add more density. You can play with the density and volume step length until you are happy with the result. You can also change the colors on the absorption and the scattering. I'm going to put on some blue to have something like ice smoke. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you have learned something today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.